Jaguar whiskeys. We also have teenagers and adults, but they are in the forest on this moment. They go early in the morning to the forest with one of the volunteers and they stay there to play and interact with their wild animals. Also these ones are going to the forest, but they go after the second tour, the tour that we are giving now. So we do them now um, as fast as possible and then we can bring them to the forest. We bring them to the forest every day because this is the way how we try to release them. It's not possible to say this monkey is ready to be released, we put him in a tree and that's it. No, it doesn't work like this, why not? This is because they are group animals, so they need a wild group to survive. So we bring them every day to the forest, they play and interact and around three, four. Conga, for example, is one of our um, success stories. She was one of our howler monkeys inside the cage. Every day we took her to the forest to play and interact with the wild monkeys. She stayed in the forest and now she is accepted by the wild group. More or less one year ago she came here because sometimes she's still around with her wild group. Sometimes they still cruise here. That's why they come. The black ones are howler monkeys. The small spider monkey there in the back, his name is Shaki. And Shaki, as you will see later, he's missing one of his eyes. He's missing one of his eyes because indigenous people were hunting his mom. This is what they throw them on the ground and they fall into pieces. They start to eat it and they can be sick. So better not. If you want to take pictures, you can take them through the window of the small They're going into the monkey cage here. If you want to come in, you can tell me and then I will open the door, okay? Okay, gracias. Hello, how old is this one? Uh, around a month and a half. Wow, look at that. I know you haven't had a lot of good. You wanted. Well, here in Costa Rica, it's illegal to have wild animals as a pet. Last year, they changed the law. Before, when they found out that you haven't uh, had an anim wild animal as a pet, you had to pay a lot of money. Of course, that's not so nice, but it was only pay money. Now they changed it, and now you can go to jail if they find out that you have a wild animal as a pet. So now a lot of people try to get rid of their uh, pets, so they bring them here or they leave them on the street. And they control it more now as well. If you wait here for a second, I'm gonna check if we can go to the snakes. There are six groups now, so it's crazy. That's the fair lance, most dangerous snake in Costa Rica. It's very defensive. 95% of the snake bites are caused by this snake. This snake was found in a football field, and when a kid went to retrieve a ball, it was right by where the ball was, so it's luckily they got this snake in time. The problem now is that she's not used to us, so she's really scared if we want to try to pick her up. It's necessary that we can do this to bring her back inside the cage, because otherwise during the night she will be outside, and she's a really easy prey for predator, since she cannot fly. So she needs to get used to us, and the way how we... Uh, 
body with their strong muscles and then they swallow the prey whole. These snakes, they can grow up to five meters big. If they are so big, they cannot go inside the tree. But when they are babies, they live in the tree as well. They swallow the prey whole. So it means that the digestion takes a long time. It takes more or less two weeks to digest the food because they also swallow the skin, the hair. Hello guy. Never been this close to one before. Or in Pendula. Him here is a broad winged hawk. They can see 100 times better than we can. And when they hunt, they only hunt and they only focus on the prey. So they see nothing that happens around them. So this one was was hunting next to the street. And when he was hunting, he didn't see the car coming. So a car hit him and he broke his wing as well. Also, he went for surgery to San Jose and also he is recovering from surgery. The bamboo that we have over here is uh, to train our birds. We put food here on the bamboo and we put the birds closer or further, it depends on how quick they can fly, to the bamboo and let them fly to the tree. So that, in that reason, that way, they can uh, fly every day and to train, their, to train their feathers. The one there on the left is Gianna. Gianna is a spectacled owl. It's one of the 60 species of owls that we have here in this country and this is one of the biggest. She has really, really beautiful, big yellow eyes. She uses them to hunt and she hunts during the night. So that's why the eyes are so big. Her story is a little bit sad, I have to say. Because they lay their eggs here and after one, one and a half week, the eggs fall into the water and then they are tadpoles. The leaves with the eggs. So they fell in, fall in the water here and they become tadpoles. If you look into the water, you will see a lot of tadpoles a lot of different kind of tadpoles because more or less four species of frogs are breeding here. You found a green snake? Yes. Sometimes he's here, yes. Oh yeah, And look, the tadpoles go. We were we, we were invaded Poison by the army ants a few days oh, ago really? before we went to San Jose. And we saw this pair of four of them just running They're away. They're not so big, ants. huh? Only this big. Yeah. But mm -hmm. So then we have a couple of snakes who have already did the snake. If everyone wants to come a little bit closer yeah. on the ground, because they were cutting a tree and these two owls were sitting on the branch. They fell down from the branch and that's why they are here. They are babies when they were babies when they came here. They were only half the saw before. Are you the same type of thing? No. These are striped owls. And the other one was a spectacle owl. Yeah. What kind of snake is that? She's looking uh, at They it call up. it garden snake. Because it looks like. And that fat was a wild snake. That's right just right. eating something, right? I think mm -hmm. he ate something, yes. Don't come so close, okay? Don't wait. I don't want you to get bitten by a snake. Different. It's also the way how they look like. If you look at the two toad sloths, the ones that we have here, they are light brown from color, really soft fur, and have big eyes because they are not and they have a big mouth. Their teeth are really sharp. Really long time. Oh, and they cover it again. Two toad sloths not. They also come down, but they don't dig a hole because they don't have a tail. So the woman who is giving the tour over there, she is one of the owners of the center. The margay is a little bit smaller. It's one of the smallest wild cats that we have here in this country. This one is fully grown, so you can see they are not so big. Do they, what do they eat? They eat uh, small mammals, for example. Oh, do they jump? They live in the trees and they come down to hunt, so no, they don't jump. Well, maybe a little bit, but... But how, but how do they get up there? From the other one and then... Oh. You see? They found him without a mom. We don't know exactly what happened. <laughs> But he's a baby, so we have to feed him with milk every couple of hours. Milk from a bottle. 
And in the afternoon, sometimes he's running around in the garden, in the grass. No, not so much. This one was abandoned by his mom. In the beginning, we didn't know why. But later we found out that he's blind, or almost blind. But since he's blind, he's, um, he's using his other uh, senses better, like his nose and his ears. For example, when we enter the, uh, the enclosure, he knows exactly wh where we are. Not because he can see us, but he can smell and hear us. He comes straight to us. But of course. Then in front of the snakes, we have a guest book where you can leave some comments. And also we would like to have comments on TripAdvisor. Because when we have more nice comments, we will have more uh, visitors, so we can take care, uh, keep on taking care of our animals. I have a small present for you. I'm gonna get it at the front desk. So if you want, yes. give it. Give it. <laughs> look at the look at the tongue. Oh my yeah. toes! Did you see that, Jack? Yeah, it'll. It's got a long tongue. Yeah. The Olingo does it is too. It's skinny and long, snake tongue. She does not like it. And this thing is so playful. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Everyone has a bookmark now, yes, right? Yeah. Your boat? Oh. Uh, you should. Well, are you having a, 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 a good view? Let me get the foot. I'll be keeping it short. It's just like a, like a person. Yeah. And he's got all of its energy. So you feed milk to both of them, huh? No, not um, not Stanley. The king is really? just the raccoon. Yes, huh? mm -hmm. the raccoon. Excuse me. Thank you.